Okay, so what we have here is a uh, train YHC, and we have a bad heat exchanger, so let me show you what that looks like. See, it's all rotted out there, and right down there, so she's definitely toast. So now we gotta basically remove that, new one is on its way. So unlike every... A lot of other units, these kind, these are kind of a pain in the butt. So this panel here has to come off. This panel here has to come off where the hinges are. Unlike, say, a Lennox or a carrier, this motor has to be disconnected, and they don't give you a, a clip for it. So. Uh, usually these Y's are long, long enough to be able to lift it up and put it up top. But this whole motor plate has to come out. There are four bolts, two here and two on the other side. Then the plate, this here, has to come off. There's a row of screws on the inside here. These guys, is two here, two on the bottom. All those have to come off. And then this, obviously, all the burner rack and everything needs to come out. And also, the best part is inside here. Once I get this off, you'll be able to see them better. But there's a row of screws there, and there's usually one underneath the drain pan, so we may have to slide the drain pan out. So, uh, set you up on the tripod, and we'll start taking this apart. I already have the gas off. I already have that gas line. That union's already broken, so. Um, I'm going to cut these zip ties real quick. Just take a quick picture, and uh, just so I know where all the wires go. If for any reason you can't, you always have a schematic, but I like doing a little, take a quick picture. That way you don't screw it up.
Right, you gotta you gotta bring your end down because it's that little bottom entrance. Yeah, right there. Come forward. Okay, you're over it. Now pick up. Okay, hey, everything in there, nice, nice. Gaskets all in place. The one and only good train design is the two panels in the back for your your side uh, discharge. You return your supply. If you swap those, so take your your return off. It slides perfectly under your supply to block it off. And the same thing with the supply to block off the return. That'll allow no smoke to go down into the building. You don't get to meet the fire department really quick. Although, actually, the firehouse is that building right there, so I don't have far to go. Alright, so let's charge this while gas is on. Let's uh, plug it in, or turn it on, and see what happens. He's already smoking. You want to push that contactor in the two pole? Ooh, smoke it. Yeah, so if you don't block off those ducks, then you definitely meet the fire department really quick. Did it pull in on its own? Yeah, I'm right after it. 